Okay, so we're gonna go and talk to Meredith right now. I mean, we managed to rescue one and kill the other two, so she should be pretty happy. I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? He was no. never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. Hmm. Thought I I'm could pleased help. to have played a part in keeping the city safe. Wait. That's it? Pay us and send us on our way. Not a single Anders? thought given to the fact that I you Templars brought, brought all of this upon yourselves. Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the champion protects you only so much. Hmm. Oh, let's side with Anders. See what happens. You've gone too far, and you know it. Maybe if you never took Huon from his wife, she wouldn't be dead. Evelina could be alive. And with the children, she risked everything to save. There are maybes enough to fill half the graves in Kirkwall. I will not add more to the pile. Enough. I have not the patience to argue with you further. Okay. Oh, we're leveled up. What? Why did he shut his door on us? Right, so well, we got our attributes. Let's put some into magic. Some more into magic. We've got quite a lot of magic now. Spirit healing. Uh, immunity to injuries could be fantastic. I actually think immunity to injuries is where we want to go. We want to do immunity to injuries, then we'll take the last point in vitality. Perfect. You need more magic. Straight up. Uh, we finished Entropy. Uh, where were we? We finished that one. What were we doing with her? I think we're going into Primal to give her some more stuff to do. Uh, we could do Chain Reaction to try and get her some more of that. We give her Tempest, which would give her an, another AoE ability. Um, I quite like it, the idea of giving her Tempest. Double Tempest could be quite good. Uh, okay, Aveline, you can go probably Constitution. Oh, she needs Strength. She needs Strength for a sword, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, we're working on this. I guess we'll just give her a Disperse so that she can uh, do more against disorientated targets, which is what Fenris uses, so if we bring Fenris along, that'll work. Don't suppose Orsino had... Wait, are we done everything? Uh, not quite. Oh, we're... We should have letters this is a appearing. Difficult soon. Time for Kirk That's what it said. Be aware for letters appearing. Uh, I want to go to High Town and I want to go to the Canary and give him his sword, and then we'll go back to our house and look for letters. I suppose uh, okay. you're just thrilled how the Knight Commander's basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. She can't stall the process forever. Nope. It's not her place. Leaving the Viscount's seat empty will just tempt people to fight for it. No, I think we should go to the shop it. first. Let's just quickly sell our junk. Well, you've got a break. Ah, <sighs> stop arguing! I've I've had enough of it. Right, high town. There are letters. Okay. So let's quickly go here. Hmm. I'm tempted to. Have I ever mentioned Wait, that what? I like your coat? Yeah, go into the canary. You do. It's very what? lively. Like a crow in the middle of hunting. <laughs> that's... That's great. Uh, Thanks, Meryl. The cloak. I like it. Uh, we've have got you located any swords. canary blades? Yep. This yes, is what have. I found. If you find more, bring them to me. Ah, level the panders. Uh, magic, definitely magic. And uh, we're finished. Oh, we're not, we haven't actually finished elemental. I think that's what we should go for next, then. Uh, fireball or Firestorm? I like Firestorm more. It also makes we'll it larger, which here, makes it a little bit more useful. Good. Now, Carry I'm on. going to go to the Chantry to switch our party out. The reason I'm going to the Chantry is I suspect that once we go... Wait, there's stuff on... anything on the Chantry's board? No. I actually haven't checked that in a while. I think that was only for Sebastian's quest, but maybe in Act 2 there was something I missed. Hmm. 
But yeah, the reason I'm going to the Chantry to switch our party instead of going to our house is I think there might be an, something that happens at our house. So I want to switch it out. Your I husband. can't remember, but I have this nagging feeling, so. I don't want Anders, I want Fenris. Fenris is going to be leveled up. Let's give him probably some more strength. And then he's finished his tree. He's finished that tree. Oh, we're improving this so he could get these abilities, weren't we? And so he could eventually get Massacre. So yeah, we'll get Destroyer. Right. Uh, and then we will head... Oh, we also have a new sword for Aveline. New sword for Aveline, don't we? I think I sold it. Oops. Right. We are going to go to the Hawk Estate and see what's going on. <sighs> oh, there wasn't an event that happened in the world. Oh, good. There's a letter yes, yes, you. we did. Strange how the messages never come while you're home. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, oh wow, whole bunch of stuff. King Alistair, dear champion, please meet me in the keep. King Alistair Freldon. Champion Albert Hawk, as a courtesy for your past service, uh, be aware that I have received complaints about your frequent companion, Card Captain Aveline. She is accused of coddling her men and weakening uh, law enforcement in this crucial time. And absent of a Viscount, I am called to vacate her position and assume her authority. But I would rather not have that headache. We got to speak to her. Oh, Knight Commander Cullen's given us this one. Champion Hawk, it took great courage the other day for you to speak openly about against our Knight Commander. You have my support in any action to me take. I hope that. I have yours as well, the situation in the circle I was hoping you could assist me with. Uh, Mess from the Comte de Lancé. Hawk, thank you for persuading Emile to do the right thing. The boy knew not recognise that you probably saved his life. I don't know how to repay you. Perhaps this coin is a good start. Um, please accept this as a token of our hum Right, so we got 10 stuff and we need to go speak to Al I'm going to speak to Alistair. Yeah. I haven't seen him since um, Origins. Right, Aveline. Meryl and Fenris. You know what? We're not doing Fenris, we're bringing Sebastian. And there's a very good reason why we're bringing Sebastian. We're bringing Sebastian because he is royalty and King Alistair is royalty. This is the logic. I know. It's not Let great. me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages oh. have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not mm -hmm. deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts. As should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Ooh. Well, that was awkward. Greetings. How do you do, your majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm yes, Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. We've met. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say what an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. <laughs> I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. An audience Things with the king. Up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. I have to admit... I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been uh -huh. going well with Orlais. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. Uh, so what did you do to make you her You were having angry? an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. May you just have it better in uh, Ferelden? Sounds like the circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the circle. I can only deal with mages outside the circle, of which there aren't many. So why don't you take over Are the circle? Are they in your kingdom? 
Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha. Huh. Easier said than done. I'm sure there's something yeah. you can do. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. There are lots of Ferelden. A lot of here. your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Eh, I suppose. Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Uh, what happened with Orlé? Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlé isn't the most stable place right now. What's Why? happening in Orlé? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. <laughs> yes. Uh, I could be Viscount if you want me to be Viscount. You know, with your help, there could be a Viscount. That's asking a lot. It's tempting, but I'm sorry to say that my support won't mean much without the support of the Templars. I suppose it doesn't matter. I was hoping to have your help before Meredith got wind of my arrival, but that's done now. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Is there another Protect threat? Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. And well, the biggest threat I suppose is the we should be black getting back. In dark we should. Town. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's a new quest. Oh, no, that's the same new quest. Oh, well, we got 10 gold for seeing him. Uh, we should go talk to um, Aveline while we're here. How much longer do I have to It was wait? nice seeing what Alistair has been doing after Hello, the uh, end of... Back to uh, the barracks. I never tire of it. Yes. Yes, yeah, nice to see what Alistair has been doing after Origins. Let's speak to Aveline. You have told no us what he wants us to do. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant Ooh. default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Oh, she is not happy. She Trouble? is really not happy. Yes, he's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just... out of hand. Um, you say there are complaints Knight about Knight Captain you. Cullen has heard some troubling things. Such as? That you coddle the men. Give special treatment. Someone has dared. Who? Who accuses me of this? Uh... Is it true? I think it's more important to answer the accusation. You think it's true? I think someone no. thinks it's true. Then let me give them, and you, an answer. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. You don't need to convince me. I don't me. have to see proof. I already believe you. That's not the impression I got. You raised the doubt, so you get to play messenger. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Excuse oh me dear. Being soft. Not in this lifetime. What, well, are we gonna um, give him some copper marigolds or something? I wonder if I should try oh, right. coming back tomorrow. We haven't talked to Seneschal Bra uh, Brand since. Like, would he not be in charge right now? Hello. Well, look who it is. You. The you. If you don't mind, um. I could do with a significant reduction in the amount of attention this office receives. A visit from the champion is something of the opposite. Uh, you're Order in charge? Order by removal if you think you have the authority. Huh. 
Authority. My authority was lopped off and rolled across the floor, courtesy of the Arishok. Now I'm trapped under Templar scrutiny, waiting for them to note how easily I might be replaced. And it isn't going well? <laughs> it is not going well. Uh, so the Templars decide who uh, Since rules? when are city leaders appointed by the Knight Commander? Meredith would not openly declare a preference. The rule of Kirkwall is deliberately separate from the Chantry's will. But the Order embodies security in Kirkwall, and they want the new Viscount to be more accepting of oversight. Anyone who wants to rule Kirkwall needs support from the Templars. That is the new truth of this city. And if they don't What approve? happens if they don't like the choice? Do you know how Viscount Dumas' predecessor, Perrin Threnhold, left office? He was a tyrant, certainly. But his rule was not ended until he actively sought to expel the Templars. The oh, good dear. of all is inexorably tied to what is good for the Templars. Uh, so he left no uh, heirs? Wait, um, yeah, why are you fearing my help? Is that just because, um, like... You'll be I can apply influence in many ways, you know. Do the words political maelstrom mean anything to you? The Templars are particularly sensitive about destabilizing elements, especially after what happened to Dumas. The uh, Canary threat is The gone. Arishok killed the Viscount, but he's no longer a problem. There are older hatreds that the Templars feel deserve more central focus. Sometimes I wonder if we're at war with ourselves. Uh, so Dumar left no heirs. There is no one to carry the last Viscount's line. You presided over Seamus's death. That was the sad end of the Dumars. When a line is judged unfit or ends, we appoint from Kirkwall's elite. Or we would, if the situation was normal. But it is not. Is the Viscount voted on? Who nominates on? a new Viscount? A consensus of the nobility, normally, and a willing nominee. Both are lacking, and I can't fault it. No. These are difficult times. One isn't. Could I nominate someone? Or do it myself? Anyone who thinks to take this office needs more than popular support. They need particular support. You are many things, champion, but not this. Not yet, anyway. Well, find me if I'll you need you me. I'll you to it. But I'm easy to find if you need me. Good. Thank you. My door is always closed. Wow. He does not like us. Although I suppose That's we did I pretty need. much ruin everything about him. The champion. Uh, we do need to level up uh, this guy a little bit. A bit of dexterity, a bit of cunning. The only reason we're going dex so he can use his weapon. Uh, I think we'll just, uh, we'll get Bursting Arrow, give him a little bit more damage that he can do. And that means that he can now equip a new weapon. The Jackal's Longbow. Ooh, but that gives a chance to infect with Walking Bomb. It's just not as good, is it? Like, the fire damage and the, yeah, percentage fire damage is just much better. Right. Let's good move on. I've been waiting. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, last draw, best served cold or compat. We've got some companion stuff, so we could do that. Uh, speak to Meryl in her house in the alienage. Good, we'll do that. I want to find out about the mirror. Leave area. Meryl's house. Like, we go to Meryl's house an awful lot, actually. Letheline, I need to ask you for a favor. I thought okay. the ruling home would be the last thing I needed, but the Illuvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Why is this necessary? Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What do you mirror? mean it doesn't work? Well, look at it. Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. 
Mm-hmm. What a good idea. Nothing bad ever comes from summoning demons. That's why, why I need you to come with me. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, uh -huh. if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. Uh, you would risk this? becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? If it brings back this artifact of the Elven, if it gives us even one piece of our history, it's worth any risk. There's no one else I trust. Lethelin, please, come with me. I don't want anything bad to happen. Uh, why don't you talk to the Keeper first? Go to Marathari. Maybe there's an alternative to summoning the demon. The Keeper would never help me. Why do you think I had to find the demon in the first place? The whole clan has moved on by now anyway. You'll never find her. Okay. Well, we will, uh... I suppose we're going to summon a demon at some point. Uh, who else do we need to talk to? We need to talk to Varric, and we need to talk to Av and we need to do Aveline. So let's go talk to Varric. He's in the pub. He's always in the pub. It's fine. Right. I hear the uh, let's walk all the way up here. I learned that the King of Ferelden loves mm, cheese. Right. He's Hello, Varric. Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is yep. ancient history. But remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? No point in keeping a house for a dead man. I've been trying to get rid of the place for ages now. Uh huh. Good I'm luck. sure that'll go well. Yeah, it's been a picnic so far. I found a minor noble in Ravane who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is haunted. Well, the veil was torn. Our trans atrocities must have weakened the barrier between this world and the Fade. Maker, I hope not. I don't think I can fix the veil through applied use of force. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartrand brought back from the Deep Roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. Okay, and what if we don't? What happens if we do nothing? Best case? They drag me before the Seneschal and accuse me of fraud. The worst case involves Antivan crows. And why uh, you need me? Because you need uh, a little bit Can't of muscle? Can't you do this yourself? Hawk, I'm a businessman. Now and then, I shoot people. I don't know anything about ghosts or magic. It's entirely possible that even if I find the thing that's causing the trouble, I won't be able to stop it on my own. And what if that doesn't I'm fix it? I'm not an it? expert on hauntings, but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You're a mage. You must know something about weird shit. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. We'll take Very care well. of it. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Okay, well, let's see what we've got. So we've got Haunted, we've got a new path, and we got this one. All of them are done. Well, already, we've got the main quest, and we've got to find some swords. Uh, well, I suppose there's one place that we should look before we head on. Before we head on to this, we need to look around here and see if there are any swords. Because this is the kind of place where there might be, like, just a sword hidden. Because you don't actually have to walk down here ever. So. Uh, nope. And the last one is Isabella's friend. Nathan for someone here. to sleep. I'm your man. Hello. Do you uh have some potions? Oh, you have some Mithril's favor. We'll grab that. Uh, nothing really else. His shadow helm. Interesting. Hmm. We'll leave him to be. Anything in your back room? A crate filled with yeah, some money. Oh, we should probably sell our junk as well. Drop our junk off here. Sell all junk. There we go. Uh, anything in this store? Barrel filled with oh, some more junk. Are you okay? Go sell the junk. I don't suppose we can talk to him, can we? Don't ingest nope. the merchandise. <laughs> it's not recommended. Yes. Well, I think it's time that we go off and do some of these companion quests. We're really near the end of the game. It's uh, pretty exciting. Right, 